Hi, this is Sydney, and today we're gonna talk about the dreaded check engine light. What it is, what it means, and why you should not freak out. So you're driving normally, minding your own business, and then suddenly, BAM! The yellow light of death comes out, the dreaded check engine light. You start freaking out, don't know what to do. You start the car, you stop the car, you turn it on, and it's still there. Oh no, it's the end of the world, something's wrong with my car, my engine is busted. Relax, it's none of those things. Quite simply put, a check engine light simply means that one of the various sensors in the engine senses that something is wrong or is reading wrong. Almost all the sensors in the car measure voltage, is in electricity. It reads anywhere from 0 to 5 volts, and if that sensor is calibrated to read, say, only from 1.5 to 4 volts, then for some unknown reason, it becomes 4.1 volts, then the check engine light will come out. That's all it means. One of the sensors reads something wrong. Now, whether it reads something wrong because of a glitch or temporary condition, or because the sensor is failing, that you will have to find out. And no, you cannot find it out by going on Facebook. You cannot find out going on the internet asking, may check engine ako, ano yung problema? You ask 10 different people, you will get 100 different answers. And none of them will be correct. Especially the people say, oh, nagkaroon na po niyan. Ito yung problema niyan. No, they are wrong. Do not believe them. Because there are 999 possibilities why that light comes out. The only way for you to find out what that means is if you either, one, have a scanner like this, or you bring it to the casa or the dealership and you have a bigger scanner like this. So now we'll show you what happens when you actually do bring your car in for scanning. First we'll take the regular shop grade scanner that we have here. This reads pretty fast. All scanners will actually have this port. It's a trapezoidal port. It's called an OBD port or onboard diagnostic port. Every car has this port and it's always, always located somewhere here. It's standard that all car manufacturers agree to. So this will work for any car. This will tell you what the check engine means. There's always an error code with that starts with the letter P followed by three numbers. You can actually type that into Google and then it will pretty much tell you what it means. So for this Honda City, we actually have a check engine and we're gonna plug this in right now. So we have it plugged in. It's actually here on the corner. We turn the engine on, on, not start. And we wait for it to fire up because it was now going to talk to the engine ECU and pull out the error code and see what it means. This is what we mean by the error code. It starts with the letter P followed by three numbers. On our particular scanner, it actually tells you what component is the problem. So this one here is mass or volume airflow circuit low. It might be an intermittent lean condition, it might be an intermittent voltage condition, or it might be that your mass airflow sensor is over 10 years old and is dead and it's dying. At least it narrows it down to any of the 999 possibilities because it could either be mass airflow sensor, misfire, crank sensor, ABS, oxygen sensor 1, oxygen sensor 2, fuel tank evaporator sensor. The list goes on and on and on. So without this, you won't be able to say for certainty what is wrong with the engine or actually what sensor and what component is wrong with the engine without this. The first thing that shops will do is, oh, that's it? Okay, we just hit the race. So we perform the scan test again. As you can see, the message says no powertrain trouble codes. There's no more. Nine out of ten times, this will work and check engine is gone. So we unplug the scanner and then that's it, you can go on your merry way. But the bigger question is, will that check engine light return? Possibly yes, like I said. It's caused by one of the sensors not reading correctly. So why it didn't read correctly, we can only speculate, but the two most common reasons are, one, external factors, it just, something just goes wrong. Electronics do that sometimes. Or it might be a symptom of that, that particular sensor is on its way to being dead. So it reads wrong now, it reads fine. In the future, it might read wrong again. If it gets too severe, and if you do the erase procedure and it does not erase, that means that the sensor is busted and it's time for replacement. Now, what causes check engine lights? Oftentimes, you'll read on the internet and the groups, masama langis mo. No, that doesn't work. Masama yung gasolina mo. Possibly, yes. Because there is such an engine code called cylinder 
misfire detected. That was caused by bad batch of gas. Whether your 98 octane is not really 98 or me two weeks of gasolina, you don't know. Can it be caused by faulty spark plugs? Yes, it can also. Can it be caused by me not using the car for three years? Possible, because that particular sensor could be busted and rusted. Particularly, let's say, crankshaft position sensors. These things have a magnet inside them. And the engine gets hot, it gets cold, gets hot, gets cold. The magnet eventually becomes less magnetic. That will also cause a check engine. So like I said, you cannot find out for certain without one of these things. Now, actually, if you go to Lazada, you just type OBD scanner, you will find a lot for 400 bucks, 700 bucks, 900 bucks. You can actually just buy one of those and it will work on your car just for you to be able to narrow it down. And if you do bring your car to the shop, make sure that once you scan it, you take a picture of this, show it to the shop so they won't be punching in the dark and asking a lot of questions and basically guessing why. That will be a big help. And if the check engine light doesn't go away, and then if there's something wrong, you only need one of these things. Professional level vehicle diagnostic scanner. This you cannot buy in Lazada anymore. <laughs>There you have it. Why you should not freak out if your car suddenly has a check engine light, it's not the end of the world. So hopefully now you understand a little bit more better on why it happens and how to get rid of it. <laughs>